the story of Babar, the little elephant. In the great forest, an elephant was born. His name was Babar. His mother loved him dearly and used to rock him to sleep with her trunk, singing to him softly the while. Babar grew fast. Soon he was playing with the other baby elephants. He was one of the nicest of them. Look at him digging in the sand with his shell. One day, he was out having a lovely ride on his mother's back. Suddenly, a cruel hunter, hiding behind the bush, shot at them. The hunter killed Babar's mother. The monkey hid himself. The birds flew away. The hunter ran up to, to catch poor Babar, but Babar was so frightened that he ran away from the hunter.
After some days, tired and footsore, he came to a town. He was amazed, for it was the first time that he'd ever seen so many houses. What strange things he saw. Beautiful avenues. And, you know, motor cars and, and motor buses. But what interested Babar most of all was two gentlemen that he met in the street. He thought to himself, what lovely clothes they've got. I wish I could have some too, but how can I get them? Well, luckily, he was seen by a very rich old lady who understood little elephants and knew at once that he was longing for a smart suit. She loved making others happy, so she gave him her purse. Oh, oh. Thank you, Madam Babar said. Now, Babar made his home in the old lady's home. Every morning, they did their exercises together. And then Babar had his bath. day, he drove out in the car that the old lady had bought for him. She gave him everything he wanted. And yet, Babar was not altogether happy. He could no longer play about in the great forest with his little cousins and his friends, the monkeys. He often gazed out of the window, dreaming of his childhood. And when he th thought of his dear mother, he used to cry.
two years passed. One day, he was out for a walk when he met two little elephants with no clothes on. Oh, why, here are Arthur and Celeste, my two little cousins. He cried in amazement to the old lady. Babar hugged Arthur and Celeste and took them to buy some lovely clothes. He took them to a tea shop where they had some delicious cakes. Meanwhile, in the great forest, all of the elephants, elef elephants were, were searching for Arthur and Celeste, and their mothers grew more and more anxious. An old bird flying over the town had spied them and hurried back to tell the elephants. <laughs> Their mothers went to town to fetch Arthur and Celeste. They were very glad when they found them, but they scolded them all the same for having run away. Babar made up his mind to return to the great forest with Arthur and Celeste and their mothers. When everything was ready for the journey, Babar kissed his old friend goodbye. He promised to come back to her and never to forget her. The old lady was left alone, sadly thinking, when shall I see my little Babar again?
off they went. There was no room for the mother elephants in the car, so they ran along behind, lifting their trunks so as to not breathe in the dust. <laughs> That very day, the king of the elephants, during taking his walk, had eaten a bad mushroom. It had poisoned him. He was very ill. So ill that he died. was a terrible misfortune. After his funeral, the oldest elephants met together to choose a new king. Just that moment, they heard a noise, and they all turned round, and what a wonderful sight they saw. It was Babar arriving in his car with all of the elephants running, running, and shouting behind him. Here they are. Here they are. They've come back. Hello, Babar. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Celeste. Oh, what lovely clothes. What a beautiful car. Then... Cornelius, the oldest elephant of them all, said in his quavering voice, My dear friends, <clears throat> uh, we must have a new king. Why not choose Babar? He has come back from the town where he has lived among men and learnt much. Let us offer him the crown. All the elephants thought that Cornelius had spoken wisely, and they listened eagerly to hear what Babar would say. I thank you all, said Babar, but before accepting the crown, I must tell you that on our journey in the car, Celeste and I got engaged to be married. If I become your king, she will be your queen. Long live Queen Celeste! Long live King! 
King Babar, the elephants, shouted with one voice. And that is how Babar became king. Cornelius, Babar said, you have such good ideas that I shall make you a general, and when I get my crown, I will give you my hat. In one week's time, I am going to marry Celeste. We will give a grand party to celebrate our marriage and our coronation. And Babar asked the birds to take invitations to all the animals. guests began to arrive. The dromedary, who went to town to buy some fine wedding clothes, brought them just in time for the ceremony. The wedding of Babar. After the wedding and the coronation, everyone danced 
Marin. The birds sang with the orchestra. The party was over. Night fell, and the stars came out. The hearts of King Babar and Queen Celeste were filled with happy dreams. Then the world slept. The guests had gone home, very pleased but very tired from dancing so much. For many a long day, they will remember that wonderful ball. the end.